Hey, it's another day in paradise. Happy Labor Day weekend to everyone out there. Um, we're out here with the whole family on the farm today, just trying to enjoy the time together and cook some good food and have a good time together. So uh, I did have a quick project I had to do, so I'm gonna do a quick little um, how to make an air compressor hose. Well, when you're working with an air compressor, you need a couple things that are important. You need uh, good quality fittings. I'm gonna buy a good solid brass. Uh, solid aluminum is also okay. It just probably won't last as long, but solid brass fittings. You can tell if they are, they're very heavy. Uh, aluminum ones are pretty light. So you wanna get those. Look something like this. And this is the male end and this is the female end. And these are uh, for, this is called the uh, industrial type. There's a different type for automotive but uh, I don't use those, so I don't know anything about them. I just know I use these, and that they don't mate together if you get the other kind. And a good quality hose. This is a Goodyear hose, and I've had a lot of good luck with these. It's a, it's a very solid 3 8 inch hose. And uh, you just need a couple of tools, you just need uh, pair of pliers. Teflon tape I also use to seal it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap these threads in Teflon tape, and then put our fittings, one on each end, and then this hose will be ready to go and snug them down with this. All right, you'll notice there's a way the thread goes on here. When you put the Teflon tape on, you wanna put it on the direction the thread goes, so you want it to go this way. That way when you tighten it down, it doesn't bunch up the tape. It'll actually go on right. So I'm gonna wrap the tape around this direction. So it looks something like that. And the Teflon tape seals up the threads so that the air can't get out. Let me just put the fitting on and snug it down. That's just finger tight. It'll probably work at low air pressure that way, but we're going to tighten it down with the tools and that's it. We put the male on one end and the female on the other end. We just repeat on the other end. And you just snug them down. They don't have to be too tight. You just want it to get tight enough so that it won't uh, leak. enough. I know that will not leak. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and your comments. And also, if this helps you out, a like or a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Hope you have a safe and great Labor Day weekend.